Welcome to this Snap and Rack training video. In this video, we will install a module level power optimizer onto a PV module and manage the conductors in preparation for installation with a rayless system. When installing a Snap and Rack rayless system, conductors throughout the array will primarily be managed with smart clips. Currently, Snap and Rack produces two types of smart clips Smart Clip 1 for holding a single PV conductor, and Smart Clip 2 for holding two PV conductors or an AC trunk cable. Smart clips are designed with the opening for the conductors facing inward. With this orientation, the conductors are much less likely to inadvertently get pulled out during installation. The Snap and Rack MLPE attachment kit is designed to attach an optimizer to the module frame using a standard half inch socket. Two bonding pins electrically bond the chassis of the optimizer to the module frame. The MLPE attachment kit comes pre assembled with a Smart Clip 2 to help manage conductors. To eliminate interference between roof attachments and optimizers, optimizers should be attached to a module frame on a side that is not being attached to the roof. This optimizer is attached to the short side of a standard module with a single J-box. The PV conductors pass through the Smart Clip 2 that comes with the MLPE attachment kit. An additional Smart Clip 2 would be added here to secure the conductors. If you're installing optimizers on modules that have two junction boxes in the middle, managing the conductors so they don't sag over time requires a different strategy. The module leads exit the J-box towards one side of the module. Attach the optimizer to that side. Let's take a closer look at an MLPE attaching to a module frame. The serrated flange nut bites into the aluminum of the optimizer's chassis and the pins bite into the module frame creating an electrically bonded system. After the optimizer is securely attached to the module frame using the MLPE attachment kit, connect the module leads to the optimizer. When managing module leads, make sure you don't put tension on the leads coming from the J-box. To adequately secure the module leads and minimize sagging over time, I recommend twisting the PV wire into a loop before using a smart clip and attaching it to the side of the module frame. First push the loop of PV wire into the smart clip and then push the smart clip onto the lip of the module frame. Using the same technique for the second conductor, we twist the PV wire into a loop, we attach a smart clip at the loop, and then we push the loop and smart clip onto the lip of the module frame. Thank you for watching this training video. If you have any questions about our products, please send an email to contact at snapandrack.com. And please check out our website, snapandrack.com, for all of our other mounting solutions.